Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. USA Today just voted it as one of the best places to hang out before the Chicago Bears game. So while you're looking around getting the view from us, uh, a couple things you'll immediately notice is while you're looking outside, you see the city in front of you. The uh, city of Chicago is expansive, it's large, it's several large neighborhoods. We incorporate a few of those here as well. Uh, looking immediately outside, you're going to see the lake side, which you get the nice lake air, the wind, the feeling, the vibe of that. You can see Navy Pier. Again, I can see Soldier Field. I can see the sailboats. Yeah, every single thing in the restaurant is either closable, openable, it's manipulable. We can really use it to factor in whatever you kind of want. And those fire pits are so nice. Yeah, yeah I love that. Okay, so let's walk inside. So follow us. And uh, this is a little a little cozier space if you want something inside. I love this for maybe like a business meeting or a lunch. And speaking of lunch, let's talk a little bit about some of the menu items. What are we yeah. looking at? So we have a several things in the menu and the whole point of the menu here is to kind of pulling together the entire atmosphere of the community of South Loop in Chicago itself. The South Loop is booming. Look at this! Oh my gosh! This is I wish traffic moved that fast in Chicago. <laughs> See if you can make that happen, Brandon. I feel like you're a man that can get things done. And look at this! How cool is that? So another fun thing about this is everything here is customizable. Several people run a party for three to five people. You can run out the entire space for yourself. So now are we going out this way? Okay. This place keeps going. It, it, this has to be one of the largest rooftop spaces in Chicago. It's much larger than what you think it is. When you walk inside the building, it's almost overwhelming at first, but you get a chance to really explore, walk around, do whatever you want. It's really how you want to have the experience for yourself. And what I like about it is there's a space where you can actually sit down. You're not going to be crowded against other people. It seems like even if it's a busy Saturday night, you're going to have a space. Absolutely. If you have somewhere to sit down, we're going to make sure that you have a spot to sit. That being said, we do have a lot of people in the building. It does get pretty full, pretty quick. You're going to see a lot of energy, a lot of people having a good time as well. And I want to touch on, again, one of the things you said earlier before we step outside um, about how, you know, the South Loop is changing. It's very busy. I lived down here a couple years ago. It's, it's growing by leaps and bounds. But as you mentioned, a lot of these different cultural influences. You've got Chinatown Absolutely. next door. Um, you've got Bronzeville, uh, a, a predominantly African-American Chicago neighborhood. Yeah. And so, um, you know, it's, you're right up next to downtown in the River North area. You guys are in a great location. Yeah, and that's the hope and the goal, you know. The whole point of, I think, the beauty of Chicago is it's multi-faceted, it's multi-racial, it's multi ethnic there's a lot of people here, and the fact that we have the advantage and the pleasure of really having so many people around us, we get a chance to really showcase a lot of people's viewpoints and voice and the people that come be here for themselves. What a great view again! I love this! This is my personal part. So, I think the, the fun parts that mention here are, especially when the lights go down, you can't quite see it yet, but when you come in tonight, you'll totally yeah. see it. Um, when the sun starts setting, you get to see the sunset in the first place, which is an absolute beautiful view. And you get to really see what my favorite part of the entire city is. Alright, so you're going to shake a couple things up for us then, Brandon? Absolutely. This is how he gets his workout for the day, folks. He's very busy. Alright. So the first part is going to be oh, the bottom awesome. base. Yeah. You'll notice from the density of the flavors coming in here, pineapple has a natural cream to it. You'll start seeing the flavors layer. Then as I open this bottle of champagne going in for the rosé, you'll see that it's going to give it a nice effervescent bubble. Which when you taste, it's going to have a nice effervescent flavor in your tongue, give you some kind of flavors to play with, and then you're also going to see it start to level off in color because of the density of the actual breeze themselves. I always get worried about this. I don't want to lose an eye, Brandon, so I'm going to step away. It's okay. As long as you keep your thumb over here. Okay. <laughs> Chicago. Check it out. I'll see you guys later. Bye!